Next one. Disrespectful and insulted. So we Nigerians, we are people of culture. Being a people of culture, if you as a female think you believe in um, equality, female equality, men especially equality, or yeah, most especially in the Philippines, to do equality. Yeah, as a result, you become so insulted. You have no respect for the man. You think especially like you're a man yourself. You're angry. Most especially you're angry. We as Nigerians, we know and respect the value of a woman. Like she sees my friend sitting there without saying a greeting like hi, hello, you know, stuff like that. To me, it's like an insult to my personality also. That I did not um, orient her well or stuff like that about our culture. So, most of the time, as women, you should be very careful not to do that. Simple culture about pleasantry, greetings, should be mm. observed by the woman, stuff like that. Not to be, not to act as if you're not well mannered or stuff like that. It's really disrespectful to we Nigerians when our girlfriend or our wives act like that. So, as a woman, you should try to adjust about towards that. Yes. So you're not gonna piss me. I'm just gonna add on what he's saying. First of all, in any tradition, we gotta respect those because if you want them to respect our tradition you gotta respect their own too like that's how you guys going to understand each other yeah. because you two are coming from different culture different tradition so if you're not gonna practice it now right now that he's just you, you might probably a girlfriend of a nigerian or still courting on you whatsoever then how are you gonna see your future with him and about this insulting, insulting in terms of if he's broke, let's say your husband or boyfriend right now, which is a Nigerian, he was um, taking good care of you before and all of a sudden things gone wrong or whatsoever, like maybe the business bankrupt or things, th just things happen, you're the one who's older you're the one who's already having a job in the family or in the house and you're gonna be start insulting him like look at you you're a you're a you're a this you're a that you're you're a useless man yes, and things like that and things no girls women out there don't try those kind of things because it might be the lead and the way that he will leave you Definitely. So, no matter how we're angry in terms, we gotta be controlling ourselves. Like, you cannot fix things that you have said. The wound is already there. So, better still, just be respectful. If you cannot handle the thing, just get out from the house. Or better still, like I and my husband, I'm into... I'm not gonna lie, I'm into words before because him also, he has his, this kind of mouth that he's, he know how to rip me. He know how to rip my heart just his, using his mouth, not his physical hand or whatsoever. He know how to hurt me very well. That's what he's good at. So I also, whenever I'm angry, like two, two water boiling in a one cup. It's very bad like until we practice that if i'm too angry now if i'm too angry if he's too pissed off and everything better still to shut our mouth so that we're not gonna hurt each other yeah after some few minutes we're gonna be you're gonna be fine you're gonna be cold down and because everything at that talk point about in time, it. anything that comes out is fire yes so better still if you're ha you and your boyfriend are sabi having some kind of problem but I still get out from the house just don't think that they're gonna rip and hurt each other and it might also the lead of breaking up your relationship. your relationship with him it's going to be very bad and also we are Filipino I know Filipina out there we Filipino we have that kind of things too those simple things I know you already know 
as a human being, we gotta respect people, respect tradition. We have a lot of tradition that I myself, I never experienced yet too, but we, I'm, this is the only one thing I can tell you. There's a lot of tradition they have. It depends if your man is which part of in Nigeria, because there's a lot of tribe that, there's a lot of tribe and there's a lot of traditions, cultures. So they are categorized with the different things. So, women out there, you gotta be ready yourself not to be disrespectful because it's that's the biggest thing you can ever do as a human being. We're not only talking about the relationship here, we're talking about friendship or fellow friend Nigerian, human, human to human, not even boyfriend, a husband, or whatever. Human to human, you respect me, so I respect your culture. It's like give and take. So. I'm going to end this with a popular phrase we Africans usually say. A beautiful girl with a bad attitude will get married soon but will not last long in the marriage. Yeah, that's true. A word is enough for the wife. Yeah, very true. So let's end up this. Let's. Too much texting or call, be it social media or anywhere. As long as you're monitoring him, uh, as long as you're texting him, messaging him, and everything, like, we Filipino, as a boyfriend and girlfriend, that's the moment, like, it's still sweet. Wow! Oh my god! Like, the sweet is still there, getting to know each other. Baby, have you eat? Baby, like this, like that. Every now and then you want to text and message your Filipino boyfriend. But, dear, not in a Nigerian man. Are you normal? We are pissed off with that kind of our attitude. Am I like that? Yeah, you were like that at first initially. But when I told you, like, it's as if you're pestering me or monitoring me or stuff like that. You came to understand the situation and you stopped. You slowed it down, although you still text him, but you limited the numbers of texts in a day. Stuff like that, which, okay. is, which was really an adjustment, and I appreciated that. But where, when we were already with husband and... No, ever since then, you've not been doing it, so you already understood. I don't get texts in a day. I get limited text messages, which is good. So like one or two is girls good. out there, our... Our typical courting things when when it comes to our fellow Filipino boyfriend, it's showing of love, sweet care when you text. No problem. Reminding him every time that he has to eat Ma. his breakfast. Yeah. You need to wake up because you need to go to school or you need to go to your work. You need to snack. Continue. Those kind of things is pacing is. Yeah. It's, it's annoying to us. Annoying to them because. Like, so see if you're monitoring our life. Yeah. What are you doing? Like you receive text it's messages. Like they like, feel what like, are you doing? They feel like I'm you're eating. controlling them. They feel like you're you choking you them. You like for them, they don't see it sweet. They see no. it annoying to them. So ladies out there that into calling like that before you eat like this do that kind of stuff like no maybe have you eat now or it's afternoon go eat your lunch we eat now and everything like, like every, every single, single day, day, day and routine. every, every yeah. second like it's like the routine oh my god filipino love mm. but nigerian is not gonna work that kind of yeah. love so weird <laughs> that's not being because being sweet because nigerian being like love they're only they only want it physical. And our they don't space. like phones. And we like our own yeah, space. Whenever they're not with you, they want their space because they love hanging out with their friends. Oh my guys, our ballers. Video game. PS. Yeah, PS. Mortal Kombat. So, Tekken. Or maybe he's playing football. Oh my guys, our ballers. So. Things that they want to do alone without you. Yes, it's not that without you, but before you came into his life of course he has his daily routine so even you yourself so we try not to choke them or like 
suffocate them with your with our attitude. Oh my God! I'm just giving you women, girls out there, who's planning to get a boyfriend of Nigerian. That's the biggest step step in your life. I think you're gonna do to control yourself to. Always text him message call. You need the call. text messages. Yeah. You need to gotta... send like three only, not yeah. sixteen, twenty. Every it's single not thing. Every have you time, have you like, about? Have you brushed it, have you? because we Filipina, we tend to get angry if they don't reply. Then, the if man. your boyfriend, if your boyfriend don't reply you anymore, he's pissed off with you. So, better still, you need to understand them. It's not because they don't reply directly in the other house of another woman no they're busy with their life too so better still you neg you just need to adjust and so on so on and as the days goes by and everything you're just gonna be used to it believe me trust me so that is it let's go to the next ragape the last but not the least creating public scene mm. This one is one of the, the tough part. I think not only to Nigerians only. Every man. I think every man. This one I will just give it to every man. Mm -hmm. Women who are fond of acting to be tough or strong in public to show to people or to prove to yourself you got your right or you you you, you know what you're doing. To we as Nigerians is a big taboo when a woman stands. Big no. Yeah. A big no and a big, big taboo shame. and shame when a woman stand and talk to a man in public with a loud voice and bringing crowd stuff like that. We don't like attention. We don't like it at all. Especially shame. If we have problem, we go home. We settle it. We don't stand in public and we don't like it when our wife on simple situation like for example you go to grocery and I he refused to let you get something you really wanted due to financial constraint. Or and maybe she do, she just really don't like it. Yeah, and then or she doesn't really like a particular just thing. Simple again. disagreement. Yeah, simple disagreement. And then you, you as a woman, you try to stand in public and yell. Shout! I don't like. You don't like this kind of stuff. And people begin to look and stare. Oh yeah. no! Because it's really bad to be Nigerians. Because Nigeria. you you because just them themselves that they're black as they're walking and passing by people already looking at me how much more if you create sin how much more if you create sin yeah so he will feel shy he doesn't know how to handle it he might walk away from you yes yeah. and it might be also the lead if it's his, your husband it might be the lead of leaving you yeah so you got to avoid creating public sin if you have problem in philippines just leave your husband go home and also they don't like that you're gonna shame them in front of your yeah. friends. That is another thing. Shaming us or disrespecting us. Especially if they're playing friends. and everything. Um, like you come to shout at me. Like in Philippines, if your husband is um drinking too much, the wife is going to the place where they're gathering and drinking and he's gonna be like What? What time is it now? You're not going back home now? This kind of thing like mm -hmm. like shame. But mm -hmm. Filipino might love love about those kind of thing but not a Nigerian man. You're just driving us away from you. They love respect. Because the moment you show respect to them they will respect you back. Respect. Respect. But the moment you show disrespect to them or you show this kind of attitude to them they will just come, run and leave you yeah. right there. they are not the type of men that they will just okay let me give, give you a, 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 a man to change and everything no they are the people they are here, the type man. of men that they will just leave no matter how they love I don't you go, I don't go die for them. They, don't no, care. They, kill me. they don't care about your beauty because they believe beauty is just a beauty but well I anyway there's a saying of what can you what are you gonna do with your beauty if your attitude is bad? Yeah. So might as well it's it's very common this kind of thing in Philippines I know because Yeah, it's very common in more. You see, see a Filipina like 
talk to Shouting. your boyfriend and slump the cell phone down. Ma! Holy <laughs> Ghost, fire! Those kind of stuff, those kind of scenarios. And scene. the men I used to eat, it's like normal when and they will love fight. And they will but a, Filipi uh, a Filipino might love like this, but not in a German. He might even try to slump you or... We take it seriously. The best thing he can do or he might be He divorce. loses his temper. He might, he might hurt you. Violence to you in mm -hmm. Philippines. A lot of situation about Nigerian beating. Especially Filipinos this type of, of Nigerian that. men that very traditional and also the Nigerian men that they don't take nonsense. <laughs> and especially this type of Nigerian men that they're very rugged in their country. <laughs> so you might find also a trouble in yourself. Full time! That could also to lead beat in the living hell out of you. I hear me to me by me. Be careful. Yeah. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. That's all the topic for today. It's thank our extreme you. pleasure to bring to you this topic. Thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed this topic for today. And uh, see you see next you in time next in our video. video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Mr. and Mrs. are signing off now. We're signing off. Ragagwe.